Buenos dias. I'm Carlos Menchaca, chair of the New York City Council's Committee on Immigration. Before going any further, I'd like to introduce the members of the committee who are here today, uh, starting with Councilmember Danny Drum from Queens and Councilmember Matthew Jean from Brooklyn. Today, the committee will vote on a package of three bills that will benefit all New Yorkers, no matter their race, their religion, gender identity, nationality, or immigrant status. Proposed intro number 1579A, which I sponsored, addresses possible safety and privacy concerns that may deter New Yorkers from seeking city services by restricting access to non-public areas of city property, as well as locations where human services contractors provide services, like housing assisting and legal services. Under the bill, non-local law enforcement can't enter non-public areas of city property unless there's an agreement granting access. There's a warrant or access is required by law. Access furthers the purpose or mission of an agency or there are exi exigent circumstances. These requirements would apply to human services, contractors, even if their services aren't provided on city property. Each agency would be required to provide free training to employees contracted for security services at covered city buildings. Finally, each agency would be required to post online agency-specific guidelines. We will also be voting on two bills that will revolutionize the city's privacy policies. New Yorkers provide their personal information to the city every day, with exception that it be kept, with the expectation that it be kept confidential. That bedrock of trust that allows all New Yorkers, including immigrants, to feel assured that engaging with city agencies, schools, and law enforcement will not put them at risk. To protect those the city serves from undue intrusions of their privacy, proposed intro 1588A and proposed intro 1557A would minimize the identifying information the city collects and monitors to, and regulates the flow, to regulate the flow of information once it collected, once it is collected. Intro 1588A, sponsored by Councilmember Jamani Williams, would require city employees and contractors to protect all types of information that could be used to identify a person, including contact information, sexual orientation, religion, social media information, and immigration status by limiting its collection, disclosure, and retention. Proposed intro 1557A sponsored by the speaker will help us to refine this new privacy framework through a comprehensive review of every bit of personal information collected by the city and whether we can do more to protect its information. I'll now ask Jumani Williams um, and I don't think he brought his statement. Does anybody have a statement for me to read? Okay. Uh, if he gets here, uh, we will have him read his statement uh, to speak on his bill. I will now call roll. William Let's Martin, vote. committee clerk, roll call vote committee on immigration. All items are coupled. Chairman Chaka. I vote aye on all. Eugene. I would aye. Drum. Aye on all, and these are very important uh, bills, especially for our immigrant communities. Thank you. I vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. And uh, as we uh, as we wait for other members, I, I'll have a, a, I'll just say a few moments. Uh, a group of us just went down to Puerto Rico with the speaker, and uh, through a few days visited many towns that have yet to see any government response um, or real infrastructure improvements. 
the work that we did down there was really to bring back testimony, and I hope that members that went and that members who have been following and members that will go in the future come back and talk about what they're seeing in Puerto Rico. Um, a lot of our members, uh, constituents in our districts have family in Puerto Rico. Uh, the wellness check team that the OEM has sent uh, is still looking through over 100, 100 people that have yet to connect to their families here in New York. The OEM team has now sent seven teams at two week stints, uh, and team seven is on the ground right now, preparing to give a final document to the San Juan mayor's office about everything that we have learned around FEMA, everything we've learned about disaster recovery and moving from phases of response to recovery and rebuilding. Those are the things that New York is dedicated to um, because that's who we are as, as a city. Uh, but the stories that will be coming out, I hope you listen to them, I hope you share them, um, I hope you find them yourself uh, and talk about it and not allow this to die um, as as a humanitarian crisis that it is. Um, with that, I don't know if any if you want to say anything else. Um, we'll keep the the vote open for a few more minutes. Thank you.